So I often get asked, what is the easiest way to set up a website for your podcast? That is exactly what I'm gonna show you today, so let's get right to it. Hey y'all, Crystal here today, and I'm gonna show you two ways that you can easily set up a podcast website. One of the questions I often get asked is, do you actually need a website for your podcast? And my gut is like, yes, you absolutely need a website for your podcast. But I also understand that as a brand new podcaster, it feels very intimidating. You're like, I just got to get this thing started. I can't even imagine building a website for this podcast. So I want to so show you two very easy options that you can add your podcast to an existing website if you already have one going and one way that you can set up a new podcast website with the help of your podcast hosting provider. So let's go over to the computer so I can show you all the things. So like I said in the beginning of the video, um, we are talking about two different ways that you can build a website for a podcast. One of them is using a domain redirect to your hosting site podcast website. Okay, I promise all this will make sense in a second, but you're gonna redirect a domain to your podcast website. And you're gonna see if your podcast hosting service offers a basic website. So this is really taking advantage of a hosting service provider that offers a basic website with your paid plan. That's the first way. And then the second way is I want to see you at least create a page on an existing website that can be your dedicated podcast page that has a multi-episode player on an existing site. I'm gonna show you how to do both of these. So let's hop on over and see how this is done. So there are three steps that you have to follow in order for a domain redirect to work. So the first is you have to purchase a domain. This could be the name of your podcast, your personal brand name, a company name. You just need a URL for this to work properly. The second is you need your hosting site. So if your podcast hosting site provides a basic website, then that's awesome because you can use their site almost like it's your own. And then the redirect domain is the third step. So you want to point your existing domain that you purchased on step one, and you wanna point that at your hosting site website. So um, then I want you to test it a few times to make sure it's working properly. So let me show you how this works step by step. So if you've never done this before, I'm just in Google domains and I'm gonna just make up a name. So it could be new podcast name, whatever the name of your podcast would be is of course what you would wanna use. And then look, I can get new podcast name dot com for $12 a year. So I would select this and I would purchase this domain for my podcast. Um, as you can see, it's super affordable. There are lots of options for you to purchase domain names out there. I've just used Google domains for the last seven domains that I've purchased. So uh, this is what I would recommend using. But once you have your actual domain selected, I'm going to show you how you would redirect it to your hosting site uh, website for your podcast. I actually just opened up my um, The Potty Report. This is one of my daily, this, this is my daily podcast. It's one of my podcasts. It's my daily podcast. And I opened it up to show you um, how this works. This is actually the next kind of website I want to show you. But if you wanted to use your domain, mine is thepottyreport.com. If I wanted to switch that to where it's pointing directly to my hosting site domain, this is how I would do it. So I'm going to show you. You would go into your hosting site. I use buzzsprout.com. And once you get into your hosting site, you will see... Um, like I, this is the potty report. I go to the website tab and this is actually what my website looks like. So I can click on this and it will open it up. And if this is all you want is a very basic website, this is the route I think you should go because this looks so legit to me and it's better than not having a podcast at all. So for additional $12, like a year, that's not $12 a month, that's $12 a year, you could buy a domain that is related to your podcast or even the name of your podcast and have it point directly to your hosting site 
website, which people can listen to all of your episodes here and they can go through and see um, everything that they could on a regular website, which is why I love this option so much. So how does this actually work? How can you get your domain name to point to this address? What you would do is you would go back to your domains. So this is my domain and I have this pointed to a web page on my regular website. I'm gonna show you how to do that in a second. But if I wanted to edit this, I could go to edit and I could take this. This is my Buzzsprout domain. I could copy this and paste it right here. And then I could click forward and it will update and show me, hey, look, it's actually going like I can click on this and it's going to take me there. So if I were to go, I'm going to open up an incognito window. And if I go to the pottyreport.com, where's it gonna take me? It takes me to my best sprout site. So that is a quick fix for someone who is looking for a very easy way to set up a podcast website. It's very simple, nothing super complicated about it. Okay, I had to interrupt real fast because I gotta know, do you have an existing website that you wanna just add your podcast to or are you setting up a website completely from scratch? Because I'm coming up with some new content ideas and I would love to really cater to whichever part of the audience already has a website or they're setting up a brand new podcast website from scratch. So let me know in the comments below. Okay, let's get back to the video. And then the next way to set up a simple website for your podcast is to use a page on an existing site. So the steps for this include creating a brand new page. So this is a dedicated podcast page to your existing website, adding the multiplayer or multi-episode player to your podcast. This will be the code that plays all the episodes you've created for your podcast that you'll find within um, your podcast hosting site. And then I want you to embed that code on this dedicated page. So use that code for your podcast player with just a simple title title or a logo. Just keep it really simple here. So let me show you how this works. Okay, so the first step is creating a brand new page. And for the sake of time, um, I just wanna tell you I have a WordPress site. And what I needed to do was create a page with the slug. So my podcast uh, or my website is crystalprofit.com slash the potty report. That's the new page that I created for this podcast. And I already added a bunch of stuff. So I'm just going to show you what it actually looks like whenever it's done. And um, just to kind of give you an idea. So here's my logo. I just made it super huge. And then that is, it just gives a little brief description, your daily dose. Like, you know, you could put whatever you wanted here, but this is the money right here. This is the multi-episode player that I was telling you about that you should have embedded on your site. So that's it. Like I have one more thing about my membership here at the bottom, but that's it's not super fancy, you guys. So if you do already have an existing web website and you want to add your podcast to it without doing a bunch of show notes or something that's really complex, then I suggest at least embedding a multi-episode player onto your site. So how does this work? So like I said, we already created our page here in WordPress. You could do this on Squarespace, any other website that allows you to embed code. So once you have this done, you're going to go back to your hosting site and you're gonna go up to players. Again, this is in Buzzsprout, this is what it looks like. And from here, you can customize your player and give it kind of the brand look that you want. You can change the colors and do a bunch of really cool things. So you can go in and customize your own players. But what I wanna show you is, you don't wanna grab the separate player for each episode, because this is only for one podcast episode. You wanna come down here and grab the multi-episode and one player, because this player has every single episode of this podcast. So I would simply copy this code and paste it onto this, uh, the web page, um, which is done. Let me see, it's in this widget right here. And I just have the custom code. It says custom HTML. And that is where I pasted the multi episode player code in order for this to show up here. 
So that's as easy as it gets you guys. If you already have an existing website, I highly recommend just adding a page that's dedicated to your podcast. And then to go back to the steps we did earlier, if you want to purchase a domain specifically for your podcast and point it to this page on your website, you can absolutely do that. So let me go back and this is actually, I'm gonna grab this URL right here and we're gonna go back to our domain because it's still pointing to Buzzsprout and I wanna switch it back to what I had it originally. So I want the pottyreport.com to point to my website. So it's at crystalprofit.com slash the potty report. I click forward and now it's all good to go. It may take it a little bit to update, but there you can see it. It's totally pops up. I can click on it and I can see it's crystalprofit.com slash the potty report. I actually would have that directed to the SSL version. I know I'm getting a little techie on you just for a second, but <laughs> so it's the um, so it's the secured version of my website is where I want people to go. So if you were to go type in the pottyreport.com, you would actually land on crystalprofit.com slash the potty report. So I hope that this helps. Let me know in the comments what you think. So what do you think? It's totally doable, right? I mean, like it almost feels like a no brainer that now that you know how to do it, I wanna see you have a website for your podcast. So if you found this video helpful, make sure you give us a thumbs up, subscribe below if you haven't already, and be sure to check out the free five day create your podcast bootcamp. The link is in the description below. Make sure you check out these awesome videos that we have right here that we put out every single week, yes. Every single week, we put out brand new podcasting videos that were created just for you. So make sure that you check those out. And remember, keep it up. We all have to start somewhere.